some things have progressed enormously. You've got a thousand times as much memory as you had 20 years ago, and the processors are vastly faster, and the graphics hardware is way, way better. So those things have changed radically for the better. Some of the other things haven't changed much at all. The, it's a big clunky thing you have to put on your face still. It seems like it hasn't changed one bit. And um, the optics are still a, a problem. You'd like to have a big wide field of view like you do in real life, but it's, it's a really hard optics problem, especially to do with lightweight. And uh, people getting nauseous and puking is still a problem. So a lot of the problems that existed 20 years ago are st still facing everybody. The biggest thing I see, and maybe this uh, will be solved in the next few years, maybe it won't, is just it's, it's a solution looking for problems still. It, it, uh, there was an attempt to make a consumer VR video game system 20 years ago. Hasbro, the toy company, put $60 million into it. And they made a prototype, and I had a little company that made one of the 10 games for that VR game system. And, uh, but they never brought it to market because the prototype was really terrible. They actually made the right decision to not market it, I think, because you just couldn't deliver a decent experience to the consumer for a price they could afford. So maybe things will be different this time. I don't know. We had a little thing in our prototype game 20 years ago, it was like a, it was a medieval game that had like Lancelot's, Lancelot and other Knights of the Round Table in it, and they had bows and arrows, and so you're having a battle with bows and arrows, and the other guy shoots an arrow, and you can look down and see there's an arrow sticking out of, you can't really do this on a regular screen joystick type video game.